The main roads into Crit are bare. Bond buildings litter the city, and few people are on the streets. Even though American soldiers seem to be everywhere, the people in Saddam Hussein's hometown aren't paying much attention. Loyalty to the fallen dictator is obvious here, especially downtown, where residents are not waving or giving the thumbs up sign. Instead, they intensely look on at U.S. troops. There are some children and some adults here in Tikrit anxious to meet American soldiers, but there is a marked difference in the attitude between the people here and those in the border towns that we went through on the way to northern Iraq. Saddam, Shbeh. No, Saddam. While most of the people here don't speak English, there are few who are verbalizing their appreciation for American soldiers. We want uh, to see uh, freedom in. Uh, uh, every uh, town uh, and cities in Iraq uh, and the uh, future is very nice uh, to, uh, uh, to our babies, to our uh, brothers. The prospect of a democracy and a flourishing economy are what many Iraqis have been waiting for, especially after seeing Hussein's lavish palaces with majestic gates and grand entries. Uh, money. American soldiers use interpreters to translate, but the language barrier is still difficult to overcome. And for many in Tikrit, it's a fine line between occupation and liberation. In Tikrit, Sarah Dodd, CBS 11 News.